Hi everybody, this is Jeff Wells, owner of the Wells Property Group. Uh, we're here in sunny San Antonio, Texas. It's a little bit windy today, so we decided to uh, come back inside, but we wanted to provide your March 2016 real estate update. Uh, today, I've enlisted some assistance from my uh, assistant, Turner Wells. Turner, would you like to say hello to everybody? This is my real estate assistant. He wanted to let you all know that uh, he was born and raised in San Antonio and that the real estate market's never been better. Right, Tony? All right, thanks, bud. Anyhow, today we wanted to focus on uh, showing some of the similarities and some of the differences between uh, two very hot but two very different markets. So we wanted to look at the San Antonio real estate market and we wanted to look at the Austin real estate market. And I wanted to show them to you side by side just to kind of explain what's similar, what's different. So let's first start by looking at the San Antonio market. Turner, if you could go ahead and put this up on the screen. All right, thank you. Uh, <laughs> so for February 2016, the San Antonio market statistics, there were 1,889 total sales, which is a 10% increase year over year from last year. Uh, the average time on the market is 71 days, uh, which is a 5% decrease from last year. Uh, the median price is up 1% to $190,400, and the average price is up to $228,992. You can also see the price per square foot is up 5%. So all in all, it's a very healthy market. Uh, there's 3.6 months of inventory, and it's, it's just continuing to grow. It's steadily growing. Sales are increasing. There is enough inventory out there uh, to, to, to create a healthy market and to meet the demand but there's not a lot, of, a lot of extra inventory out there. Now let's switch over to the, the Austin uh, real estate statistics for February, 2016. And the median home price in Austin is $269,900. There were 1,783 single family homes sold in February, which is up 3% from last year. The average number of days on the market is up three days to 62 days on the market and there are 2.1 months of inventory so austin is one of the hottest real estate markets in the country i think you probably hear it on the news austin denver seattle places like that uh, four or five years ago the real estate market started going up at a very dramatic rate and it hasn't stopped since then each year we think it's going to slow down it never does so if Austin's one of the best markets, San Antonio is obviously a very good market. Let's look at the two side by side. Let's look at these numbers side by side and just try to understand what the similarities and the differences are. So uh, first, let's look at the median home price side by side. The median home price in San Antonio is $190,400. The median home price in Austin is almost $270,000. The average home price in San Antonio is $228,992. The average home price in Austin is $333,000. So you're looking at roughly a $100,000 price difference between the median and average home price from San Antonio to Austin. Uh, days on the market, uh, Austin's average number of days on the market is 62 days against San Antonio's 71 days. So not a great difference there, uh, only nine days difference. Uh, inventory, big difference here. Austin has an inventory level of 2.1 months. San Antonio has 3.6 months of inventory. And so what does that mean? It means that, that there's not as much as available in Austin. Uh, there's more available in San Antonio. It's a bigger city. There's more affordable options out there. And it actually creates a better environment for buyers in San Antonio. It's considered a seller's market but it provides more opportunities for, for buyers to come in. And then finally, let's just look at the total sales. Uh, in Austin, in February 2016, there were 1,783 total sales. In San Antonio, there were 1,889. Austin's total sales were up 3% from last year. San Antonio's were up 10%. San Antonio's, San Antonio's a little bit bigger city, city so, so that, that obviously explains where there could be more home sales. sales. But, but the point, point is, even though it's not San Antonio, Antonio as hot of a market as Austin, it's a very, very good market, and it's a great time to buy because there's just it's just more affordable. Uh, there's more affordable options out there, 
and it's, it's a great, great time to sell. If you're a seller, prices are up, continuing to rise. As a buyer, it's a great time to buy because prices are still low. Interest rates were supposed to go up, but they haven't, so you can still uh, purchase a home and, 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 and be able to, to obtain a decent interest rate and a different, uh, decent loan. So that was the purpose of today. We just wanted to provide an overview of both markets. We always talk about San Antonio, we talk about Austin. But we wanted to show them both to you side by side just to show that they're both great markets. Austin is, is through the roof, but San Antonio provides some very unique opportunities and some affordable options for those looking to, to get in on the market. Your monthly investor tip for this month, are we going to talk a little bit about FHA loans? If you're new to real estate investing and you're trying to figure out how to get into real estate investing for the first time, uh, one common and very, very lucrative approach uh, is to utilize an FHA loan, which for those of you who don't know what an FHA loan is, it's, it's a loan uh, that's that's there as your primary residence, so you have to live in that particular property. But on the positive side, you can get into that loan for only 3.5% down. So if you're a young and, and inspired uh, real estate investor, you can go out and FHA will let you purchase uh, either a duplex or a threeplex or a fourplex. Uh, and as long as you live in one of the units, you can still purchase that up to a fourplex with an FHA loan. So you can get into uh, potentially a fourplex with three and a half percent down. You can live in one of the units. You can rent out the other three units to generate income, and you can get into that for only three and a half percent down. I know several people that do that. We've helped them do that. They've been very successful, and typically the cash flow on the property, one the, the rental maybe one maybe two units will pay for the entire mortgage and everything else, and then the rental of the fourth unit. Uh, or the, the third unit, if you're living in one of them, will uh, your profit will go into your pocket and will help generate income. So uh, that's your update for March 2016. If you have any questions, email me at jeff at wellspropertygroup.com. Uh, you've got my phone number and all the information is online. Uh, once again, we'd like to thank all of our military members out there for all that they do. And we look forward to talking to you. And here's to a great April.